Doing everything he can to make life miserable for Angela. He's slashing hours and supplies. How the hell is she supposed to run a hospital like I that? I know, and she, she's holding her own just fine. Yeah, she's doing the best she can, but there are only so many hours in a day, and she is spending every single one of them at the hospital. So you think that's his game plan? That Hayward wants to bully her out of a job? Well, that'll never happen. Angela's worked way too hard to get where she is. I'm not about to let him take that away from her. Yeah, well, I know how you feel. Jake's probably on a firing line, too. So we've established Hayward's game plan. What's yours? Take him down. For good. So I'm on charges that he cannot squirm out of. Well, he took that plane down, Tad. I think you don't have to convince me. But there is one problem. I mean, Dave is a lot of things. A whole lot of things. But he's not stupid. Nailing him isn't going to be easy. Nothing worth it in life is, Tad. What is it? Don't give me that. Look like you got a headache. I've known you for a lot of years, kiddo. I understand this thing with Hayward is eating you alive, but there's definitely something else going on. What is it? I can't stop thinking about that baby. I mean, the one that might have been it wasn't. Yeah, I know it came out of nowhere, but it was definitely something we weren't prepared for. And it changed things with Angie. Well, I can't help thinking that this could have been a second chance. Having this child with Angela, I could have made up for time I lost with Frankie. Hey, have you discussed this with your wife? There's no time with David breathing down her neck. Hospital is all she thinks about. She eats, breathes, sleeps. I'm telling you, man, I am so over this, man. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, but I do. Which is why I intend to be with you on this every step of the way. Of all the waiting rooms in all the world. <laughs> you had to walk into mine. Hi. Hi, babe. <laughs> What's uh, cooking? What are you doing here? Hi, I'm... Uh... I'm here to pick up headshots. Really? From an ophthalmologist's office? Well, uh, the photographer's place is next door. I saw you. What? What's your excuse, Mr. 2020? Yeah. 2010, actually. But who's bragging? I am. <laughs> what a what? Uh, I'm, I'm uh, doing a consultation. Sort of a house call. Oh, well, great. I'll, I'll hang out and wait till you're done. Maybe we get a coffee after. Mm, I would love that, except it's probably going to take a, a while. Oh, all right. Well, I'll hang out until they're ready for you. Uh, I, I would love that. The only thing is the nurse was just out here a millisecond ago and asking for me already to come in. I'm just slow poking. She was like Helga looking thing, like a wrestler. And I think I should listen to her. Otherwise, she'll crush me. All right. All right. So, and you have your headshots, so. All right, all right. All right. So I'll see you tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I will. You, me, and a bowl of pasta. Ooh. It's going to be fab. All right. I love you. I love you, too. Love you. It looks like my diagnosis was spot on. Fungal endophthalmitis. I told the doctor I would have preferred it if I had been wrong. Well, what did he say about the symptoms abating themselves for the last few days? Uh, he said it probably doesn't mean that much. But he gave me a experimental medication to try. Well, that's something, right? Yeah. I mean, whether it works or not, only time will tell. Jake, I could lose my sight. Why don't I just drive you home right now, okay? Call your husband from the car. Oh, uh, no. What do you mean? I'm, I'm, I'm not going home. Well, where are you going? I'm going back to the hospital. Oh, no, 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 I you. No, I've but... got work that I have to do. And from all we know, not a whole lot of time to do it in. Hey, Chief, you got a second? Not really. It's about that guy we hauled in, the drunk and disorderly. Rod, if this doesn't have anything to do with the plane crash, I don't want to hear it, okay? Okay, I'll figure something out. Good. Go figure. Let's 
something else? No. Um, you know, just uh, too many of those will do a number on your stomach. Oh, so you're a doctor now? Uh, I'm, I'm just saying. Let's get back to work. <sighs> yeah, I, uh, I'd like to book a ticket. You know, you, you can't really just go back to business as usual. Why not? Well, because we just came from a specialist who said uh, it's possible you could lose your sight. I can, said it. I can handle this, Jake. Well, with all due respect, I don't know if that's true. Remember the other day you needed some help with that patient? What if you were trying to save a life right then? I just think it's a good idea that maybe you take a leave of absence. And let David destroy what's left of this hospital? I can't do it. I won't do it. The first sign of weakness is all it'll take. David is trying to pick us apart so that he can replace us with his own people. People who don't give a damn about anything except kissing David's ass. Now, if I retreat now... Okay, all right, all right. This is not warfare, okay? That's exactly what it is. Well, then you don't have to fight it by yourself. I'm right here, okay? And then Frankie. Not for long. Not if David has anything to say about it. Jake, if it weren't for his staff cuts, his supply cuts, I wouldn't even be fighting this damn infection right now. Now, I am not going to lose my sight in this hospital, too. What, I'm wrong? There's no talking to you, is there? No. Either you're with me or against me. Well, obviously I'm with you. So does that mean that you're going to keep quiet? If we do this, we do this on my terms. You understand? No seeing patients alone. Of course not. I would never put a patient at risk. Look, I will focus on my administrative workload for the most part. No, for the most part. So what, you, you still want to take cases? Is that what you're saying? Some. <sighs> well, not without me there to shatter you. Fine. Fine. And I will do whatever I can to make sure that David doesn't find out. Fine. You're welcome. And if this continues, if this continues to deteriorate, you're going to be honest with me. Okay? You're going to tell me. And you're going to tell your husband. Listen, I, 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 I don't want to upset him but until I know if the drugs are working. Because when Jesse finds out that David is partly to blame... You're going to tell your husband. Or I'm going to tell your husband. Okay. All right. And, and this is important. This is the most important part. Oh God, no, I'm still, it's not funny. I'm going to help you see. I'm going to help you see, right? So if I ever hear you call me Fido or Buster or any of the names that go along with C and I dogs, I swear I am going to quit. That is non negosh. Non negosh. Put it there. What is that? Get up. Get to me. <laughs> get through this without you. I really don't. Well, I'm not going to let you find out. I love you.